Good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you from wherever you are watching from. This is Mayegun Live. Thank you so much for joining me from wherever you are watching from. Share this broadcast and I miss you too. Yeah, I miss you too. All who has released the first batch of uh, the Alibaba and 40 Thieves, 28 of them, for those who said, Kalu is a strategist, Kalu is a talent discoverer. Kalu is so intelligent that he's going to put together the best team that will rescue Nigeria from APC. Egbe, kegbe. The list has come out, Baba. You will soon know the technocrats. Awoli, Bewiri, retired career criminals. Omo, you can still share the broadcast. <laughs> Twenty-eight names, and there are already regular faces. The jihadists, the narcissistic, and the narcissistic, hmm? the regular, uh, you know, kleptomaniacs, career criminals. Some are missing, by the way. Motideo, Ekuleo, Eku Jometa. Good morning to you. Good afternoon to you. Good evening to you from wherever you are watching from. Hmm? It is Mayegun, and this is live. See, you can still share this broadcast to your friends and your not so friendly friends. Some people call them frenemies. I don't know what you call them. Just share. And if you have already done that, you are welcome. Yes, 48 hours ago, I was with you, but a lot has happened after that, especially the last 12 hours. The last time I was here, I told you that they said Kolu was going into hibernation, abina seclusion or isolation because he wanted to consult the gods. To help him choose those who are going to come and help you renew your shege. It didn't take long. As at this morning, Bajabia Muli, with all the convoy, arrived at the National Assembly of Nigeria with the list. 
ordinarily, ministerial appointment and all these things, they are usually political compensation. Thank you for supporting me. Oh, thank you for being there. Oh, yeah, is your reward. It is never about uh, gov good governance or development. It's mostly about, yeah, you are so loyal. Thank you. But somehow, there, were, there are some, uh, you know, Lagos Abobakus, Oshogbu Alimajiris, with their uncles and aunties abroad as well. You know those ones we call the Mumumadus, Bele lecturers, Mumu lecturers, those Oluri Brukus that will stay abroad and continue to tell you that Rome was not built in a day. They will never relocate to that Nigeria. Never. They live abroad. Their family live abroad. Their business and everything is abroad. They just wanted you to remain as wretched eh? as you are. And APC is doing that. To some of them, APC is a punisher. If you have any of them living abroad telling you that you are doing the right thing, following Kalu and the rest of them, well, you are about to also learn the lesson of your life. Yeah? So, they said Kalu is somebody who discovers talents. Kalu is somebody who will bring together technocrats. God punish them. Because there are so many other good kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, acknowledgement or so to say that these guys have bastardized. Here you get when you talk about integrity, they associate uh, Bokowari with integrity. How is that? When you talk about uh, progressives, democratic progressives, they associate a uh, call with progressive and uh, democracy. Eh? So those are the you know what I mean? Anyway, finally, Kolu Kolu came out with the list of the technocrats, the people who are going to come and help you change Nigeria. The first one is Abubakar Momo. Next is uh, Yusuf Matama. The next is Amedi, Amedi Dangiwa. Next is uh, Anatu Musawa. Next is uh, Ushe Unanji. The next is uh, Bata, be better, Edu, that the IPC woman leader. The next is uh, Doris, Aniche, Uzoka. After that is uh, David, or Devil, Umayi, of Ebony, who is also a senator, by the way. However, he's been nominated as a minister. For those who probably should remember, at a point, Devil Umayi was told that it was the Igbo anointed candidate for 2023. So he needed to prove that he could be trusted. So he decamped to APC. Afterward, he uh, further sort of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, sort of uh, oppressed his own uh, people in a way that I uh, use the word terrorized uh, his own people to cover for the Fulani terrorist. Uh, you know, ransacking a bony states. All right. That's Devil Umayi. It will be a minister. Then, uh, ha, 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 and yes, some wiki, we're a wiki, we're a wiki that said, hmm, instead of me to join APC, eh, it's like asking him that has malaria to go and join, uh, to go and uh, uh, join cancer, stage four cancer. Finally, Wiri Wiki has joined the stage four cancer, the lily livered, uh, broken and destroyed uh, PDP. You know, paper tigers, they are, right? Who can only back and can't bite. Finally, Wiri Wiki will be appearing as minister. <laughs> so, Badaru Abubakar, that one is the former governor, eh? uh, immediate past governor. I forgot his state. So, he's going to be minister. Uh, El Rufaya of Kaduna hmm, is like the nightmare of the people of Southern Kaduna. It's not over. Despite uh, one of their sons appointed as one of the service uh, chiefs in Nigeria. So, El Rufaya is coming back as minister. Uh, then uh, you have Ekperipe uh, Epo, Unkiru Oyeo Jicha, Jiocha. Uh, you have Olubu Mitunji, 
you have Stella Okotete, you have uh, Uju Kennedy Ohaneye, uh, then you have, uh, uh, yeah, you have uh, Belo Muhammad, you have Dili Alake, Bati Fagbemi, which happen to be one of, uh, I think that one is the APC lawyer or Tifnumbu's lawyer. I don't know which of them between Ronnie Pekun and Fagbemi. So, uh, yes. Then you have uh, Muhammad Idris, Olawali Edun, uh, Wahid Adebayo, Abdelabu. You have uh, Imam Suleiman Ibrahim. Okay. I will let uh, Akpa Biole, okay, give, you, give us the list. Then we can continue from there, ladies and gentlemen. Distinguished colleagues, <laughs> I, I am pleased to announce to the distinguished Senate and all Nigerians that Mr. President has sent a correspondence dated 27th day of July 2023 to this hallowed chamber addressed to distinguished Senator Gus Villacuavio, President of the Senate, requests for confirmation of ministerial nominees. In compliance with the provisions of Section 147, Subsection 2 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended, I am pleased to forward to the Senate for confirmation the underlisted 28 ministerial nominees. One, Abubakar Momo. Two, uh, is not stated. Ambassador Yusuf Maitama Tuka, CON. Three, Architect Ahmad Dangiwa. Four, Barrister Han Hanatu Musawa. Five, Chief Uche Naji. Six, Dr. Beta Edu. Seven, Dr. Doris Anite Uzoka. Eight, His Excellency David Omae. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, His Excellency Ezenwa Nyesom Wiki. Ten, His Excellency Mohammed Bataru Abubakar CON. His Excellency Mohammed Bataru Abubakar CON. Eleven, his Excellency Nasri Ahmed El Rufai, CON. 12. Right Honorable Ekperikbe Epo. 13. Honorable Inkiru Onyechioka, Onyechioja, Onyechio, Onyechiocha. Onyejuocha. Fourteen. Honorable Olubumi Tunji Ojo. Fifteen. Honorable Stella Okutete. Sixteen. 
Honorable Uju Kennedy Ohaneye. Seventeen, Mr. Belo Muhammad Goronyo. Goronyo. Eighteen, Mr. Dele Alake. Nineteen, Mr. Latif Fagwemi. S A N twenty Mr Muhammad Idris twenty one Mr Olawale Edu twenty two Mr Wahid Adebayo Adelabo. 23, Mrs. Iman Suleiman Ibrahim. 24, Professor Ali Pate. 25, Professor Joseph Utsev. 26, Senator Abubakar Kiari. 27, Senator John Enon. 28, Senator Sani Abubakar Danladi. 29. While noting that the above list is not exhaustive and that additional nominations will be sent in due course, I hope that the aforementioned nominees will receive the expeditious consideration and confirmation of the Senate. Please accept distinguished Senate President and distinguished Senators the assurances of my highest. Now these two no follow the first uh, list come. She you get and they are others too. Okay. Gandola. It is being rumored that Gandola's uh, compensation is going to be that of uh, APC, a uh, shamanship, I mean, sorry, shamanship preposition. So more will begin the look at uh, the color or the size of Unashege. I know a lot of them even have been expressing Disappointment. Ah, ah. I'm talking about APC. I be, I be themselves. So. Ah, ah. Are these the technocrats? Ah, ah. As you are, you they follow our handle. Eh? What is all this? And you know what they are saying to themselves? Ah, ah. Everybody should relax. This one at the VC. So this one at the uh, first list. VC list is still coming. Eh? Complimentary list is coming. Others are also coming. So the disappointment is kind of overboard. But somehow, somehow, eh, here you have your renewed Shege. Number one, Tifnumbu and APC, they have no plan. No plan. You see, you would have probably, you would say, these ones are coming to come and help Tifnumbu's idea, Abi. In the last two months, you can tell, Abi, that uh, Tifnumbu and his gang, they have no idea of what and how they really want to. But you see, the last time when they said they are giving you student loan, and then 
we expect, I mean, I said that uh, they were going to increase your school fees anyway. So even if you're not paying any, uh, if you're not paying before you start paying. So they increased eh, the tuition. But you see that word tuition, that, that word tuition, which is school fees, eh, they now single that out. Why they increase all other charges by over 124 percent in some places so by over 400 percent sure you get they now dash 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 in front of school fees new so tiff Numbu came out and said they are not the ones who, who increased your school fees it's your school that increased them they didn't tell them to and in fact they shouldn't have even removed it i mean increase it yet because we haven't perfected our plan on student loan now look at the crop of thieves some said i, I still like that wiki you know wiki is mr project if you see how many uh, uh, fly over one fly over two fly over 12. so with a wiki is some are even saying go and mark it down with a wiki is going to be the minister of works do you remember when uh Bokwari didn't appoint minister or anybody for about six months and opened the door, your vote, your, I mean, your, uh, what do you call it? Yeah. The resources and the treasury of Nigeria to his family members and his in-laws and the rest of them. When he finally started making those announcements, do you remember that there was Fashola, there was Amechi, there was, uh, who else was dead as one of those, those one day? Anyway, Amechi and Fashola. A lot of you who they fooled that time or allowed yourself to be fooled and played, you were so kind of like, ah, with these two, today, they left Nigeria more dilapidated than ever, more indebted than ever poorer than ever eh to the point that 90 percent of what they took nigeria and buried nigeria into debt i mean indebtedness for 90 percent of them of those projects wherever they exist at all are uncompleted they even have a number they said over eighteen thousand projects that they borrowed money that they stole were left uncompleted. Almost all of them. So now that you have Escobar, the uh, what do you call it? The new your new sheriff in town, the pickpocketing chief, the one that uh, practically said they need to slow down your economy, eh? widen the tax uh, bracket and then uh, reduce the purchasing power of the people which is so kind of very much similar to what he's been doing now they are bringing thieves career thieves who have looted their own states running away from that uh, justice getting under the cover and the wing of a known drug lord and career criminal called Lutifnumbu. So you have them. And if they ask you, which of the policy of Kolu have you kind of, or do you think any of these guys is coming to do, or kind of do better? Which of them? There is no technocrat that you will see with any drug dealer. That's what you should know. If anybody is telling you that somebody, uh, a drug dealer, drug lord, or a kleptomaniac, uh, you know, career politician, that they have techno, no, 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 no. Who they have are different kinds of uh, criminals who are going to serve different purposes when they have that level, I mean, level of power. Yeah. They are not coming to build Nigeria. They are coming to bury Nigeria. And whether you like it or not, okay, just pray. 
that you live long enough to witness this. You see, the other day, Sheyiti uh, Flumbu was kind of reassuring you that uh, the uh, change you voted for. I'll play that. I want to say thank you for the faith you have in our president. And I guarantee you, President Ashwaju Bola Metunubu will not fail. Nigeria, the hope that we've been looking for and hoping for is here. The president that we've all wanted is here. I guarantee you, my brother. I want to thank He can't guarantee you anything. All right. You see, everybody is taking their everybody is taking their own space and then what have you now before they start unleashing them on you. Okay. Uh it's so sad that some of you are going to be celebrating and celebrating them, like making yourself feel like maybe something is gonna happen. Nothing is gonna happen. Right now, eh, in town, all over the place. Okay, from Emilokon, Emilokon. Somebody said that has now changed to any Now, for those who are shouting Emilokon, Emilokon, three, four months ago, a lot of them are now saying any Konlumo. You see, Emilokon is my turn. Eh? When you say Emilokon, Emilokon is my turn, it's my turn. Now, the whole thing is changing to any Konlumo, which is loosely translated as a only those affected by the situation of Nigeria right now, eh? Now, only them knows or only them can tell you what has actually hit them in the last two months. You need to see the cries. And it is so kind of funny. Because it is funny when you see how those who were talking with confidence how, I mean, those who were so cursive, combatant and violent in their fake, begotted belief in Kolu. You know, they hide a lot behind that until everybody started knowing that, uh, no, this, is, this doesn't make any sense. A lot of them today, eh, when you now see them trying to advise uh, Kolu and uh, Mr. President, we want you to remember that uh, we suffered for you. A lot of people are laughing at us. You need to do something now. Any palliative, anything you want to give because of this, you need to do them now. Somebody should please advise him. You see that video I played you just now? Eh? That is the video of Sheyi. Now, under that video online, you will see some of these guys. They were begging Sheyi. Sheyi that uh, probably just uh, got eye at some point. I mean, you know, got eye. And it was like, oh, well, this people just uh, abuse my papa. Ja. I won't go kill off all of your papa. See, all of them, they abuse my papa. I might do one video for them, say, boys, guys, my brother, the hope that we voted for is here. The Kiniko Kiniko is here. Am I wrong? I want to say thank you for the faith you have in our president, and I guarantee you, President Ashwaju Bola Metunubu will not fail. Nigeria, the hope that we've been looking for and hoping for is here. The president that we've all wanted is here. I guarantee you, my brother, Rough. you can't guarantee shit you know that it can't guarantee any shit so people all these guys now went on that that video online and they were begging she to talk to his daddy oh my. ridiculous eh they were begging him ah ojueko ojueko you know we trust you ojueko we want you to talk to daddy ojueko we are hungry oh ojueko people want to die here with hunger Ujueko, you know that I suffered. I voted for daddy. Please tell daddy to quickly give us a... Uh, make daddy come and help us. I was like, you know, just go there, you'll be laughing. But on the other hand, eh, you know those ones, those those angry Nigerians, frustrated. Eh? 
they no they no they no look uh, she if it's at all. Look at this one. He don't drink a uh, codeine. He don't hire on uh, your own papa supply. Look at him. Remove your cap. We will see your face clearly. You see? Don't use what your papa does. You know that kind of people they are angry. But like I said, she he just goes maybe he just go high to some extent. Just felt like oh well, this 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 Olori Bruku is just abuse my papa anyhow. President's son. Things are I mean things are really, really tough. You know that, Abby? Eh? But according to Kolu, you shouldn't be so kind of too angry. These are just baby steps. You see, these ministers, eh? I'm going to give you some scenarios of what you are about to face. Ma paint the picture. Call me any name you want to call me. All right. Ma tell you something. Uh, back in the days, let's say eight years ago, I mean, APC was kind of relatively unknown. They were popular. So it was like, ah, ah, wait till they worry you. Everybody knows that PDP has destroyed Nigeria. You, Mayegun, let's give them a chance. Eh? Mayegun, I mean, you know, it's true. Nobody is this and that. That was eight years ago. I was at that man. I said, ah, Papa, you know they understand me. Eh? People that destroyed Nigeria, they didn't destroy Nigeria from Abuja. They destroyed Nigeria from every part of Nigeria, right from that your local government. And everybody is talking about Nigeria, this Nigeria, that Nigeria, this bad, bad, bad people, bad leader, bad clinical. Well, a lot of you don't like mentioning their names. She you get. So you are like, mm, everybody is the same. I mean, it's okay. Just leave them. You know, it's all the same. So, 10 years ago, I was like, I would never believe those who have profited from the failed leadership in Nigeria. I will never trust them when they promise that they want to fix the same place. It's not possible. Fixing the old place means they will actually send themselves to jail. Eh, but you see, we need to rescue this country. Look at Boko Haram. Boko Haram is killing everybody. Mayegun, let's, let's just give them a chance. Don't give them any chance. You are done for. Look at them. So it wasn't popular then, you know. It wasn't popular. I wasn't popular. Not like popular like no, no, I was known. No, I was known for being somebody who is against eh, the change that millions of Nigeria dreamt about and is now here. This Mayegun is in the UK criticizing it. What is wrong with you? It didn't take long before a lot of them started turning around. Um, uh, it's true, Shama uh, It is true. I mean, you said it. Uh, anyway, you said it. True, true, you said it. You know, blah, 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 until some of them started coming around. So whatever it is that is currently playing out in your head because of uh, the APC, now that they are not even popular, now that they are actually like being rejected, do you not get it, Ni? APC didn't win 2023 elections. Because there was, if you have to put, there was actually no elections. You didn't win. That's how much people rejected you. They defeated you in Lagos, where your Lord and Savior was supposed to have been like, uh, like nobody should have challenged to even come close. They defeated him mercilessly. Can't you see that? They beat uh, Bokuwari in his own state, Kasina, after 80 years as president. They beat him silly there too. In Kaduna, where Little Finger came from, they beat them silly there too. In Kano, they got beaten in Kano. In River State, where the wicked comes from, they beat them there. Can't you see? Where did you win? Exactly, where? Where? Go, 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 go. Did you get all of that from? Nobody, like. And you can tell, you are not popular. Mayegun is now here. Again, telling you that, you see, whatever... Shege, you have you saw under Bokowari. You see this particular one. He go wear blouse and skirts. Come tie rapper. Come wear tight underneath. You go see him. You go smell him. Eh, Baba? I don't know if I should pray for long life for you. 
because Koloma to read Yadawasi, a lot of you are going to be alive for the next eight years as the good reason why they will keep saying Nigeria is poverty capital of the world. Prayers don't change what these guys are doing to you. That's what my ego keeps telling you. It's not, I'm not wishing you anything bad. I am not wishing you any evil. But you see these guys, they wish you no good. You know, there's difference between wish. Okay? Oh, I wish. I wish. But there's difference between wishing you know, and doing you no. Know. And that is why I keep saying that for those who are religious, keep your religion out of politics. I know these guys out they use that and manipulate you very well. And to you, you will think you are defending your religion. You will know you are defending the criminals who have already programmed you that way. Don't wish. Am I going? Are you wishing that? Are you are you saying that? Can you, it doesn't matter what I say or wish. Is how it is what these guys are doing to you. Eh? If I wish you to prosper in life, they removed subsidy. Your life tumbled overnight. So, did you wish for that? Did you wish that you'll be trekking and trekking and suffering that you are facing right now? Did you wish for that? Eh? That's what they wish on you. And that's exactly what is happening to you. So it's not about wishing. It's not about praying. It's about using your sense and using your brain. Like, use it. You know what they say about brain, eh? They say brain. You see, this is our brain. They say it's a very, very powerful tool. Eh? Very powerful. It can do, think, solve, fix anything. But you know the problem here is this. Will be everybody they use their own. You get that? But in the space of politics, when you fail to use your brain, somebody else will use it for you. They go con the remote control your brain. You go no go con get sense. You get brain, but no sense. Because somebody else is using it, using that brain. You know? So when you see criminal politicians eh, with what they are actually doing and the consequences of what they are doing on you, Baba, don't turn to people and say, are you wishing us? Can you go, can you go? It's not about what I wish you. It isn't. It is about what you wish yourself and what you do towards that wish. Eh? A lot of you wanted to plant you wanted to plant Agbalumo, Sherry. I be you wanted to plant uh, yam and turn around and start harvesting gold. That's exactly how they have programmed you. Unfortunately. Eh? It is what they wish on you that happens. If they want your life to turn upside down, they make their policy there. That policy, when they roll it out, you begin to look around and say, ah, hey, hey, what is this? So oh, hey, help us, so oh, and all of that. So that I want you to, I want to explain your scenario to you very well now. Shebi, you know that uh, if you are a member of National Assembly in Nigeria, the lower house, house of reps. You know, like legit, you you'll be going home every month with at least fifteen million naira. Now that they have increased your salary by hundred and fourteen percent, they will pay you close to twenty million naira every month in all of the allocation that you have awarded. Uh, they've awarded to themselves as senator. They will normally go home with. 20, between 27 and 30 million naira. Now that they have increased their salary, they probably will be going home with uh, over 40 million naira each. Mm? Now, if you look at uh, the... Uh, sorry, I, I quickly want to say hello to uh, Manuel Ferreira. Thank you very much for that uh, super chat, by the way. So, you know, those ones are like uh, the canker woman termites that are always there because whatever money anybody wants to spend, 
eh, will go through them and they what? Now, when you come to ministers, eh, you see those ones, the way they walk. They don't work, they are not working to help you or change your lives. That is why you, you will never really see any of their policy, whether it is on health or on education, or even on infrastructure or anything at all. It is all come and shop and it is deeper. Where one senator is going home every year with uh, something roughly around uh, 360 to 400 million era every year. One, one senator, 400 million. A minister eh, that is uh, cooking and cooking figures on non-existing, uh, what do you call it? Non-existing projects will get the approval of those criminals there anyway. Then under each ministry where they are, there is this huge racket that seems like nobody can solve ever. And it is called a eh, payroll fraud. The moment you become a minister, you see those who are in that ministry, permanent secretary, clinical secretary, who are all doing the fraud, they will bring it to you. That's just one oh. And because there is something called procurement, you see that procurement is another avenue where they are milking, stealing, and the, where the heavy lifting is happening. Now, you know, a minister is like somebody who is like a mini, a mini governor. Here you get. And you have 40 of them. Then you have another 40 of them as junior making them 80 of them. Now, throughout uh, Boko Hari's time, the one in charge of Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs eh, was collecting 500 billion naira every year. The money she was supposed to share to poorest people in Nigeria. And guess what? For those seven or six years they were sharing the money, to this day, they are telling people that 90% of the beneficiaries have no bank accounts. You just give them cash at hand. Do you understand what I'm saying here? You see, you will expect these guys to come in. Here is another one. When they said that uh, they were borrowing money to build trains for you, it was from China. Okay? Now, you know you owe China money, Abi. <laughs> now, China that is giving you the money for building rail and all that they are building. Their own agreement is that it is a build and then, a, you know, kind of operate an handover kind of, but it will be behind the scene. So what that means is that China's money, that China borrowed Nigeria, eh, they, it's like an investment. So they didn't give the money to Nigeria. They gave the money to their own uh, construction, I mean, to their own uh, engineers companies who now got the contracts for the rail from nigeria so you get but you see as they are taking that from china every year eh ministry of transportation in nigeria eh, is also budgeting money that is more than what they are borrowing from china and they call it railway transportation re-engineering rejuvenation billion so you get it just put that every year to the point that the trains in Nigeria are receiving money for repairs. She you get in billions. And the ones the Chinese are building, they are also budgeting money for their completion. Yeah. So the whole thing is like a, that racket that you will never see. Now, may I give you another example? Remember that guy that single-handedly defrauded the whole country? Eh? Addis Irika with a logo of aircraft. Ask yourself, how was that even possible? Where did he get the money? How did he get the money? Who approved the money? How did the NEC approve the money? Eh? When they knew that uh, he actually had nothing to show that Nigeria is having a line, it is called the power that they give to them 
to come and loot and do whatever you like. Just do something. Here you get. Just do something. And in all of this, it's further widen eh, the space of those whose only job is to take advantage of everything facing Nigerians right now, not to find solution and fix them. Forget it. Fix waiting. Fix waiting. Something that is actually giving them money. So when you begin to now see the faces of those they are putting up, the question you should ask yourself is this. If I ask you this, can you please, in all honesty, eh, quote at least four or five policies of Tifnumbu in his campaign that you yourself is familiar with? Eh? Not all this your analysis. What is called loose policy on education? What is called loose policy on security? The other day, he went to uh, Kenya to the African Union meeting and he was there shouting, We must end coup. We must end coup. Call loose policies for defense is similar to that of uh, Bokowari. I would like to explain. During Bokowari's time, Nigeria military, their primary job is not to defend Nigeria. Listen, their primary mandate from the day Bokowari came in and he started picking them was to protect the regime. Remember the last time uh, Bokwari was in power, being the first military uh, criminal to overthrow the democratically elect I mean, elected government in Nigeria. Bokwari was the first military to overthrow a democratic government in Nigeria. It didn't last longer than 30 months. So immediately he came back in. Eh? The, those he was speaking uh, as his own service chiefs, their primary job was to protect the regime, not to protect Nigeria. That is secondary. In fact, he made them rich. Here you get. You were seeing the skyrocketed uh, defense budgets. But instead of uh, the crime or terrorism to reduce as the budget for Defense was increasing and increasing in a poor country like Nigeria, okay, where they were spending times 10, if no more than that, of what they spend on uh, education, healthcare combined, on uh, security, on defense. As the security budget was growing up, the terrorism that was supposed to be going down also started going up. In fact, it opened up other different uh, kind of uh, terrorists in Nigeria. On that day. So it made them money. They made so much money. Buratai the butcher has so much money. Sure you get under Bokwari. Under Tifnumbu, the same military are pledging to protect its government, not to protect Nigerians. And that's how some people believe that you see all of these generals that you see today in Nigeria, Colonel and the rest, majority of them, they are actually politicians or political contractors. A lot of them, unfortunately, eh, became what they are based on the political connections they've had or maintained over time. And there are reports of uh, those who did have all those connections but never considered for any kind of uh, leadership position in these uh, agencies, organizations or so. So, Kolu was uh, in Kenya. And he told them, we must end coup. I said, could that be his foreign policy? I'm, you know, I said, some, I said something earlier. I said, if you know any of his policies that are going to directly impact on you, don't look at the criminal, because that's what you do. Ah, if Dev Umayi should be minister of, just the same way you were thinking, it's Aleiko Barack Obama, Ajang Badi Albert Einstein. Fashola, was that not how you thought? Eh, yeah, super minister. Eh, yeah, ministry of what, see? 
Ministry of Power, Ministry of uh, what is it again? Eh, Bowl. And they said, Ah, you will see how it's going to turn it around. You will see how they're going to shake it. I said, With what? Turn what around? So eventually, he ended up as uh, the first Nigeria Minister of uh, Darkness, uh, Potholes, and Homelessness. So after that, Inka, where did that end now? So a lot of you are looking at them and probably allocating ministry to them and the rest right now. Amayegu is here. Which of that policy are they coming to really implement? And I don't know if you know this, by the way. Kolu is about to borrow 10 trillion naira. Chongbomi. It is not rumor. I just remembered now. They need to borrow 10 trillion naira to fund the 2023 budget. It is called supplementary budget. It's going to write that and uh, Babioli are going to approve it. I just thought I should tell you in case if you don't. So all of these guys are coming in, okay? To further rip you off. But talking about foreign policy, was his policy about uh, prevention of a coup in Africa or in West Africa? So the last time he was making that mouth in Kenya, remember I said, Chen Bowiri, Pesimede Yera Nagotin say, Pesimede no get legitimacy. He's talking like somebody who is probably like lost or something, yeah? It doesn't look like somebody you can call a president of anywhere, anywhere, you know? And I bet nobody could probably took him serious, except for those who took his money and they were there to make him uh, whatever, you know? We must stop Queen West Africa turning with him A few days ago, new, another could don't happen for Nigeria Republic. They have removed Bokwari's uh, brother. They have removed him from, uh, from Ninja. Remember that Bokwari said he will go back to Ninja if anybody come after him. Now they don't cancel Ninja for Bokwari. Now he can't go to Ninja. If they even go to Ninja, now arrest them, go arrest them. Because under Bokwari, Ninja Republic, eh, who happened to be the cousins of Bokwari, Ninja Republic became the 37th state of Nigeria. You see, as you are collect, as they are sharing your allocation to all the states in Nigeria, there are states in northern Nigeria, Kebi, Shokoto, Gumbi, eh? I have borrowed no and the rest of them. They will pack your money and they will give them to Niger Republic as handouts. I'm not joking. They were budgeting inside the Shokoto State House of Assembly, uh, Kebi State House of Assembly, borrow no state. In all these places, they are debating package, package for Niger Republic. It was so fun. They named the streets after Bukwari in Niger Republic. I don't know what went wrong. I don't know what happened. The khaki boys, the soldier, they were just like, uh, no, no, no. But usually, what happened is that the majority of them have used dubious and criminal ways to access power. Now, when they access that power, they don't give a damn about anybody. You know, they get so kind of uh, comfortable to the point that some of them just kind of feel like they could even change the constitution of their country to stay in power. You know, that kind of power. Like what you have in Nigeria right now, where somebody rigged him seven, and then he seems to have kind of managed to buy off uh, supposed institutions that should be acting as uh, checks and balances your name, right? He's bought them off. So he was in Kenya, and he said this, just a quick flashback, then we'll go to Nigeria Republic, then we'll come back to Nigeria. Then we'll go elsewhere too. Have you shared this broadcast, by the way? Have you? We will not allow coup after coup West Africa Sabrina. We will take this up seriously with African Union and it's to the European Union and Britain and America. Take it up. It's a challenge. Yes, democracy is very tough. 
to manage, but it's the best form of government. And we also ascribe to it. We should make a pledge here that in furtherance of our region's economic recovery and growth, we will commit to democracy and promote democracy and rule of law. I am with you. In Nigeria, we are back. Thank you. And thank you very much. We must bite back. We can't sit like toothless bulldog in Ecuador. For the confidence reposed in me, I pledge to you, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, that I will do my best. I am just new. This is my first. I'm giving a surprise package. We we work collectively to pursue inclusive economic integration of West Africa region. We should uh, what's that? We should pursue whatever. I don't I don't even know how to quote him. Yeah, that was called about two weeks ago when he went uh, to this West Africa, not even in Kenya, by the way. That was before then. Guinea, Guinea, was that Guinea 